Hello Stepper, welcome to French's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to show you how to do a double uh, door, uh, no, a Dutch double fold, Dutch double fold. So here we go, go this way and then this way. Also, I will share with you how I done all this glitter here. Is that pretty? Let's get started. I'm going to start with the fold itself. And the measurements are kind of um, tricky a little bit, but all the measurements will be on my blog right above. You get the eye there. If you click on that or in the description, you get the link to go right at this blog post and all supplies and measurement will be listed there. So you start with a piece of crumb cake that measure nine by 316. 316, it's the little tiny line just before the one quarter there. Okay, so we're going to, and it's nine long. We're going to score that at five and a half. Let's score this at one, five and a half. Now we get this over here. Now for the bottom there, the double door, this here measure eight and a half by two so eight and a half by two you're going to score at um what do i score that we're going to score that at two and one eight so it's just between the two and the one quarter there that medium line there two and one eight we're going to score both in that way so this way is just one measurement to remember two and one eight that is it my friends now let's remove this now when i fold this i want them to meet in the middle sometime if we're off a little bit in our cutting what i do i bring this here touch that right in the center hold it there take your bone folder and reinforce make sure it's right there now you want to put the adhesive just in the center part not on the flap so you're going to, I like to use Fast Fuse and right on the edge here. Here we go. Now we're going to bring this and put that right here. So I like to put it stand up there. Et voila. See? Perfectly. Now the top the cherry cobbler here measure four by three and three eight and my designer siri paper measure three seven eight by three and a quarter and why all those little off number it's because to have your band to go right around it have to be off a tiny bit there the measurement i'm going to put that right here Voila, I'm going to reinforce this here. And then the little one, and the stamp set that I use, it's the Christmas Happiness. And for the, the pine, I use Old Olive. And for the pine cone, I use Soft Suede and Early Espresso. And this one here, it's the tiny one, this one. And on the card itself, I use the medium one for this. So the cherry cobbler on this measure two by one and seven eight, and the very vanilla measure one seven eight by one and three quarter. Again, the measurement will be on my blog. Right there. And right here. And then the insert inside measure um, four by five and three eight. And the piece joy and love it's from the stamp set um, musical season. This stamp set right here, peace, love, and joy. So now we get this done. Now we need to do our top there. 
So what I've done, I used lots of label and I used the two bigger ones. So the bigger, the biggest one, it is in the cherry cobbler and this one, it's the second largest and that it's in very vanilla. Again, early espresso, the outline, soft suede, all olive and cherry cobbler. That it's all from Christmas happiness. happiness. Now, I'm going to sponge with you around, show you how I sponge this. I used the dauber that I know it was here, but now, oh, right here. And this, my dauber, it's kind of need a new one, but it's going to be good for this project. It is in soft suede. And what you want to do, it's go all around very darker. So I'm going to go all around. So I just... It looked kind of funky till it's all done. Like I said, my dauber can be uh, going to be tossed in the trash and I'm going to put a new one there. Um, they last forever, but the more you use it, it's just like anything else. Nothing is built for life, right? Okay, now that it's all kind of smeared there, I'm going to use crumb cake. And we're going to sponge with the crumb cake darker on the outside and lighter inside. What I mean by that, I just go around. Here we go. So that's how I sponge that to get my antique look. Now I'm going to show you how to put the, the glitter on it. Here we go. And you see, I get kind of way lighter in the center there. It just looks like the light is going through. Now we're going to use the adhesive sheet. And what I'm going to do, it's, let me cut one piece. Here. Let's see how. Okay, about two and three quarters. Here we go. It's going to be easier if I just cut the piece. So now, usually you would put this down and the sticky go in the back. Now we need the sticky on the top. So peel this up here. Make sure it's open enough. Keep this piece of paper there. You need this. It's very important. The side that you stamp need to go down. I know it's kind of funny, right? Because usually it's go up, down. Now take your bone shoulder, really press this here. Now we're going to take our big shot. Let me bring the big shot. We're going to match back our framelit. Take the framelit, and you can almost feel where it is. You can see through. It's just that you want to match that the best that you can. I just push it and feel it where it grab. Okay, this looks pretty good. Take a piece of post-it note so it's not moving. Take the clear plate. Put that on and let's pass this through. The crackle that is normal on a big shot. And let's remove this. Okay, before we peel the paper though, Again, you're going to take your bone folder and really, you want to make sure the glue is where it should be. Okay, we're going to bring our dazzling diamond. Remove the part here at the top. The glue should stay there. Try not to touch the glue. Take your dazzling diamond. Now you can touch it where the glitter is. Now I 
going to take this, just tap it down. And just flicker it in the back there. And see, nothing is glue. And this stay right there. It's just go where the glue. And see all around where I uh, sponge, it's very darker. It doesn't matter if it's me or it don't even show. See, oh, I think that is so pretty. Now we're going to take this. And we're going to adhere that to our cherry cobbler. See, I had started and I don't know. Oh, I had rubbed my stamp there. Like, I don't know what I did. Here we go. Put that to the top. Okay, when you're going to put, just put a little piece here. And I just go about this. This one here, you don't want to go too low because you don't want to have no glue at the bottom. Let me make sure I get the right side. So I'm going to go this way. Here we go. That should be good. That's going to get on top here. Try to center that the best that you can. Here we go. Now we're going to do a little bow. I had ribbon. Well now, oh here it is. So what I done, I fold my linen thread in three. And I bet you're going to see an eye long. I never measure. So each length, it's about oh, four and a half. Maybe five inch each you want would be easier. Just do your... Oh yeah, you want five inch. Because this is going to be tricky here. A little bit longer would make it easier. I'm going to pull, pull. Here we go. Now I got a triple bow there. I'm going to cut this right here. And we're going to use a glue dot. One side is always nicer than the other. Put my glue dot right there. Put that right here. Et voila! You get your um, double um, Dutch double door. And this is it, my friend. And this is part of a blog op. So make sure you click above and come and check this out. You're going to have many different uh, style with uh, this type of fold. Thank you so much for joining me. Till next time, happy stamping. And again, right below, you can subscribe to my video so you don't miss anything. And in the description or above in the eye, it's going to bring you right to this blog. Have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.